on to another edition of uh, designing your own electric bike here at Electric Bike Company. So as you know, you can go through each one of our models and read up about them, which one is going to be the best design and best style for you. You can either go all the way down to our customizer here and go to our helmet page, of course, or go to the top of the page and you can get to the customizer here at the top of the page or just click on one of the customizing buttons. So let's go to the customizer again. You're going to see all your uh, different models that you want. Let's go to the model Y today and then we'll see it. You can see here, this is where you can actually read up a lot on what your bike's about and it's a little learn more link over there. So the typical uh, design for a model Y is uh, just with a rigid fork, but you can choose a suspension fork and there's a little video explanation explanator right there An electric bike that country. you can actually go to and learn about what's the difference between the rigid and the uh, suspension fork. Then let's, if we do this, the rigid, we'll go through that. What we really find looks great on this Model Y is the all-weather wooden fenders and chain guard. So we'll go down to the chain guard in a second once we choose our rims. The silver rims are nice with the silver spokes are really good. A lot of smaller riders uh, under five foot five, and even if you're five foot six, five foot seven, and you want your feet flat on the ground, I would suggest the uh, 24 inch uh, tires. That gets you nice and low to the ground and uh, just gets you stable. If you are a good rider and you're a little taller, go for the 26 inch. Then with the wooden fenders and chain guard, it sort of trims out the bike really nicely. Regular uh, battery is fine. It gives you about two hours on the bike. Otherwise, if you you want to go further, you can do the extended battery. Here, you can ch also choose your battery, uh, your battery, um, ba sorry, the front basket, and then the inliner. The inliner is kind of fun. Sometimes you can actually put a little uh, accent on that. The back rack, if you wanted to customize that too, you could go ahead and add that. Here is also a personal choice. If you've got a little dog, you can add a dog carrier on that. And if you go shopping a lot, you put the little wicker basket. Or if you've got a kid, let's just assume you do have the kid on there. And then you can color customize that to the outer shell. You can do the, uh, the different cushions here. And then, of course, you can uh, add on the straps. Normal is, uh, on this type of model, I would suggest the uh, cruiser handlebars. But... I'm a taller person, I like the uh, chopper style, but if you are sort of more sporty, you can go BMX. And if you're quite aggressive and like sort of mountain biking, off-road trail riding, you can get the uh, you can get the mountain bike handlebars. But uh, let's just assume we go with the, the regular handlebars. Yeah, I think with this color, the silver trim is actually a better option. And I prefer leather trim, uh, leather uh, hand stitch grips, but if you want real comfort, you can go with the rubber. It gives you a little bit more cushion. And then choose your seat color, seat type over here. Typically on the Y, one of these seat colors, uh, seat types are pretty good. The standard seat is actually quite wide. Then on the, uh, on the suspension seat posts, also again, because you want to get low to the ground, just go with regular. The balloon tires and this comfortable seat give you enough uh, cushion. But if you are a taller rider and you like a little bit more cushion, maybe a little heavier, you go with the suspension. Either one of these two will be fine. Then we get down to the custom helmets. This is a real fun little addition that we've got over here. And you can either go and design something really fun and sort of outrageous or go with something just plain. A black or white one is also good. Or match your bike or contrast and match your trim of your bike, etc. Uh, here, I think the white uh, trim is good and the uh, tan straps. Going through these other options, also again, personal choice. Often a thumb throttle is good because you can keep both hands on the on the handlebars. And uh, again, I'm a big fan of the direct drive. Seven speed is fine if you want to get that feeling of uh, changing gears, etc. But you've got a quite a powerful motor and you've got the seven levels, uh, five levels of assist. So direct drive should be fine. Upgraded tech, if you're doing night riding and you are, or you're a younger rider and you want to make sure that your lights are turned on during low visibility conditions, I would suggest the uh, upgraded toolkit. And then the anti-theft alarm system, big fan of that with the remote controls. You can add that uh, if you like. A lock, I'm a big fan of the U-lock and it's a hardened steel U-lock and you can slide it down and attach it to the uh, seat stay, which is just that little bar that comes off your seat. 
and it's nice and tucked away. Otherwise, if you want something a little bit more sturdy and you want to lock up two bikes at a time, go with the chain lock there. Uh, the upgraded toolkits, I'm a big fan of that too because you don't get broken. If you get broken down on the road, you can actually repair your bike with a hand pump and you've got a CO2 little canister that you can uh, screw in there. And it's also got this self sealing gel that you can stick in and you don't have to take the wheel off to repair your uh, puncture. So that's a good one. Upgraded uh, extended warranty is also a good, uh, good option. We already give a good 10 year uh, warranty on the bike, on the frame and the motor, but you can extend that another two years. Now, when we get to the torque sensor and a cadence sensor, there is an explanatory video that you can listen to, but I'm a big fan. Most people choose the cadence sensor. Torque sensor is fine if you want to really get that, you're real sort of purist cyclist and you want to get that, the, uh, the 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 feeling of the torque of the of the uh, of your riding experience, but because it's an electric bike and you've got a throttle and you've got those five levels of assist, that's fine. And then the charger, uh, regular charge on this bike is probably fine if you are going and you want to use it for rentals and you want to get the thing charged quickly. Go for the uh, five amp. Hopefully that helps. There's a, there are little uh, little f videos here to show you exactly what the color looks like. On your bike uh, you can see the the yellow here that's the real look because these are just renderings but these are real looks of how your bike would would, would uh, look when you get it and that's the way you design a beautiful model wide beautiful electric bike at electric bike company